This new generation model dries hands in 10 seconds and uses 80% less energy than conventional hand dryers. A sensor turns the unit on and off automatically. A circuit board with a microprocessor runs everything. The assembler builds a strip of eight control boards at a time. They go into a track that first runs through a chemical cleaning. This preps them for soldering. The boards then float through molten solder. As the solder cools and solidifies, it fuses the components in place. An inspector scrutinizes every board, then, whenever necessary, does soldering touch-ups by hand. Finally, they separate the eight control boards. Working a board at a time now, they plug in and test an infrared sensor. The sensor shoots a continuous beam to the area below the air outlet. The testing machine uses a strip of metal to represent hands. When the strip cuts the beam, it triggers the dryer to start. When it departs, the beam is restored, triggering the dryer to stop. To produce the airflow, a motor spins a blower wheel at a rate of 20,000 revolutions per minute. After connecting the blower and motor, they slip them into the unit's plastic inner housing. They add a rubber gasket to lessen vibration noise, then close up the housing. Next comes this electrical heating element. Its coils will heat the air as it passes. After applying mandatory electrical warning stickers, they install the circuit board on a mounting bracket, then connect the bracket to the housing. Then they connect the wires coming from the heating element and the motor to the control board. Now they send the unit to the testing area for, quite literally, a dry run. They make sure it turns on and off properly. They check the blowing force, the air temperature, the voltage. Elsewhere in the factory, they work on the hand dryer's outer housing. It's cast from zinc. After it comes out of the mold, they polish it with a buffing wheel to prep the surface for painting or chrome plating. In the plating tank, they run a positive electrical charge to chunks of metal and a negative charge to the zinc cover. This draws metal particles through the water like a magnet onto the surface of the cover in a thorough and even layer. For this model, they first plate the cover in copper, then nickel, then chrome. The underlay metals are required for the chrome to adhere. Once the plating's done, they clean the cover. Apply an arrow sticker pointing to the air outlet. Then glue on a plate with the name of the manufacturer and model. The inside unit, attached to a wall plate now, fits right inside. They fasten the cover using tamper-proof screws, then shine it up with a few squirts of window cleaner. These hand dryers come in a wide range of finishes, letting you dry your hands in style.